Coffee's always so much better when somebody else makes it for you. <laughs> I'm sorry that I sound horrible. I can't really hear anything out of this ear. This past weekend, Lauren and I went to Houston um, with Muhammad and some of his friends, and we went up there Friday. We like, I had an appointment for something, which I'll be sharing with you guys soon. Comment down below if you can guess any of it. I put a hint on my Instagram story, which some of you caught. But anyways, we went up there Friday, and then Saturday, uh, Muhammad came and we went to dinner. We went to La Pasha, which is a cafe there. And I had tea and mint lemonade and stuff and it was so fun. I, I really like Houston every time I go. It's just so much fun. And then the next morning we went to Weirdo Bakery, which is like a Lebanese bakery where they do like Mediche and Shakshuka and all this really good breakfast stuff. Today I have my first laser hair removal appointment. I went for the consultation last week and they just talked to me through what it, the procedure was gonna, not a procedure, but what the laser hair removal was gonna be like. And then they did like a test patch in two areas. Did I tell you guys this? I might have, but I'm going for it today. And I'm kind of nervous because I'm doing three different areas and they said that you can make separate appointments for each area, but if you wanna just get it all done in one, it could take like 45 minutes. So we're gonna try that today, and then if I need to do, if it's too much and I need to do every area separately, then we'll do that next time. If you guys watched my last video, I decided I'm wearing the first dress, which was the black one. Um, I actually am returning that one today. And I'm getting, <clears throat> oh my gosh. I'm getting a smaller size because that one was too big. Um, it just runs big so I'll link that dress down below if any of you guys want to see it It's actually a bridesmaids dress, but it's so good like the Hilton has really good dresses for Special events a lot of them you kind of have to search for the ones that are long sleeve or More modest, but I found both my dresses from my engagement shoot a few years ago from there and This black dress is from there. I know it's always so hard finding dresses for special events so I'm just constantly on the lookout lately because I feel like I've had things I've need dresses for. So I look at Beheldin, ASOS is always a go-to, um, Dillard's, Macy's, Saks, Neiman's, but those are a little bit more expensive. This blush, you guys, I need to blend it on this side, but it is so good. It's the Patrick Ta blush and she's adorable it's the only one i found that actually like just the color looks really good on my skin and lauren wears it too and she really really likes it yeah this is what it looks like i will link it down below because it's just such a good one i don't think i'm gonna do mascara today because i'm just not Feeling it now that I'm talking so much, I feel horrible. Choosing my outfit today, um, but I wanted to show y'all some stuff I got in from Abercrombie during the sale. Now I totally copied my sister Lena with this coat. This one comes in a few different colors, and I don't have a camel coat at all, and I love that it's like a relaxed, oversized fit, but I got my usual size, which I'll put in the description because I don't remember if it's like small, medium, or like four, six, what it is. I think it was a small. It's so cute, so comfortable. The inside is like this. And then these, I got two bodysuits like this. I got a black and a white one because Abercrombie's bodysuits are so good. Um, the, they're not see-through at all. They're not double layered. Wait, yes they are. Let me see. No, they're not double layered but they're like thick enough where they're not see-through. I wore the white, so I think it's dirty, but it's not like a square neck. It's like this, but it's like a tank. So they're just really good for layering with blazers or I probably wouldn't wear it with this jacket, but I just wanted to show it to you guys. Here's an up close of the jacket. I'm not wearing it with these shoes, obviously, um, but I just love this jacket so much. I think it comes in a gray um, and then another color. I'll link it down below. I also got this one, which is kind of like a blazer jacket, but it's definitely thicker than just like an everyday normal blazer. I love it so much. It's Here's the print of it. It's like a light gray. 
and I got my true size, but it has like an oversized fit. This would be pretty with a white top underneath and like jeans. Okay, favorite sweater I own right now because it's long and you can wear it with leggings and boots, but the material is so good. It is so soft and it's still in stock as of now. So I just love it so much. It's like, a, it's the perfect size. It's so comfortable. It is not itchy whatsoever. I'm wearing a small, so this is my usual size. This is how it fits. And I believe it comes in one other color, but this color is really, really pretty. And sweaters like this, especially from H&M, sell out so fast, and you never know if they're going to be itchy or not. This one, there's no wool in it whatsoever. It's not itchy. It's so good. I just got this package in, and I wanted to unbox it with you guys. This is the home try-on box from Warby Parker. I'm working with them on today's video. You guys know I wear contact lenses every single day. I'm wearing them right now. And I wear glasses occasionally, like at night, or um, if I just don't feel like wearing contacts, or if I forget to bring my contacts somewhere. I always have my glasses with me, but I've had those for like six years now. So this is Warby Parker's free at-home try-on kit. You take a quiz online where you pick out the glasses that you want, um, and then they send you five of them with a prepaid return label, so you can try them on for five days, send them back, it's completely free, and that way you can figure out like which glasses um, you like best so I got five different ones that are I think honestly I think they're pretty similar because I feel like I have like a style of glasses that I like but we're gonna try them all on together okay here's the first one these have like tortoise on the side and then blue rims on the lenses those are cute I feel like these are similar a little bit to the glasses I have right now but maybe like more of a round shape i am going to be getting a new pair of glasses so i do need y'all's help on which ones you like the best so that was number one here is two these look similar but they're all one color like a light brown tortoise color which i really like these but they seem like a similar shape to those okay number three these are more of a oval shape i would say then round okay these are tortoise we've got a theme going i like tortoise i just feel like they look good on my skin uh okay i'm not really feeling these don't really feel the shape of these Ooh. okay 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 cute i feel like i look a little nerdy in these <laughs> but those are cute they're just more round. Okay, here's this color. Oh, that's cute. Also, if you have FSA or HSA dollars with your benefit program um, for your insurance, it will go towards Warby Parker. You can use it on prescription glasses, prescription sunglasses, um, eye exams, contact lenses, and you can use that link. It's warbyparker.com slash Amanda Saad um, to get this uh, try on program of five glasses sent to your house for free for five days to try on. So I will leave that link down below. I'm running late, but I'm on my way to my laser appointment. And this is my first one, so I'm... Turn down. So I'm scared. So pray for me. I will give you guys an update when I finish. Also, I just decided to wear sweats because I need to be comfortable. I just finished. I'm putting my clothes back on. This is the torture device over here. <laughs> And I laid over there. It was painful but bearable. And I'm excited to see results. I'll have my next appointment in like four to six weeks. I came to Lowe's to get some stuff to fix my painting because I did half of it too thick with the compound and it cracked. So I have to fix it. So I got a little scraper thing, some brushes for the edges. And then I need one, the little tool to do like the design that I did. I think it's on the aisle with the wood. I don't even know where anything is in this place, so I'm just, you know, searching. Mm -hmm.
thing. This one. I used this little trowel to make the grooves in the painting, so I'll show you guys everything I used to make it down below because I've seen a lot of people online doing these like DIY, super easy, cement looking compound paintings. <laughs> Um, so I'll give you guys the information and I'll link the TikTok video I followed down below. It's super easy, but of course I have to mess easy things up and come back for more supplies. So a little bit later in the day, I've had some calls all day today and then I just spent the last 30 minutes doing the painting. Max has joined me. I redid the compound on the painting and I just need to paint it over again. It looks as good as it's gonna get. And now that I'm on camera, it doesn't look that great. So like, this side looks amazing. It's this side that doesn't. <sighs> I'm just frustrated with it at this point. And I just, it's, I can't fix it anymore. So this is as good as it's gonna get. It's hard to tell right now because some places aren't painted and some places are, so. I need to paint that and then you guys can see like what it's actually gonna look like. But anyways, I <sighs> I'm so tired today. I got a Sephora package in, so I thought I could unbox it with you guys. Okay, this room is boxes right now, but I stocked up on some stuff from Sephora, so I thought we could unbox it together. Okay. I got a necessary lotion because I've been completely out and Lauren and I both use that. Then I got the um, Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Iconic Nude because Lauren probably stole mine even though she claimed she didn't. I haven't seen mine so. Then I got stocked up on my favorite leave-in conditioner. This is the Olaplex number no. six. It doubles as a heat protectant, so if you style your hair with heat, this is a really good one to use. Um, I like using this because I also diffuse my hair, so I do put a little bit of heat on my hair, so I use that. And then I got two of the Briogeo Curl Creams because I go through this stuff like crazy um, because I put it all through my hair whenever I style it, which I need to actually style my hair. I just washed my hair Sunday night and I didn't like do it, didn't put any product in it, so it's been in a bun ever since. But all I have left today is I have a call at three and then honestly that's it as far as work stuff goes and then the rest of today, Lauren and I are gonna make this peppermint bark. I don't know if she's gonna help me, it might just be me, but we looked, we found this recipe for peppermint bark and we wanted to make something holiday-ish. So um, I'm gonna catch up with you guys when we make that tonight. I'm kind of just guessing how to make this because I've seen pictures. Um, so what I'm gonna do is melt the chocolate. I got a semi-sweet, semi, semi whatever. And then some white chocolate baking chips and then these little peppermint things which I need to I couldn't find any that weren't individually wrapped so I'll crush those up we'll melt both of the chocolates and then I'll pour this let it freeze and then pour that on top of it other chocolate or white chocolate chips I got were not melting so I switched to these day and I wanted to come on to say that I feel a little bit better um, and I've been working all day and I've been editing this vlog and I just wanted to share that if you're not subscribed 
please subscribe because I have a very exciting series starting very soon that I'm so excited about and I can't wait to bring you guys along for so many things that I haven't shared with y'all yet. Um, this is such a special time in my life that I've waited for for so long and I just can't wait to share everything with you guys and take you along for literally everything. So make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.